Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. Oh wow, we got a full blown live drum solo. Oh yeah. This is the last episode with my friend Ryan Hoyle. Ryan was the drummer of Collective Soul for six years. He also toured with Paul Rogers from Bad Company. Drummers love their drum solos, so he gets a little overexcited on this one. Makes a big deal out of it. Drummers pain the butt. <laughs> it's good he enjoyed it. This was actually a really cool solo. I'd never seen Ethan do a drum solo, and uh, it's it's pretty cool actually. He's he's really good. So, we're going to do this together. If you want to learn more about Ryan, if you're interested in booking studio time, recording stuff, you can do so. Through his website, you can get a hold of him at livedrumtracks.com. If you want to just learn more about him as a person, I did an interview with him a while back with his friend Jason Sutter, who's also an amazing drummer. You can check that out here. Anyhow, without further delay, because my friend Ryan is eager beaver he was, let's check out this drum solo by Monaskin's drummer, Ethan. Okay, so this is Ethan, who is the drummer of Monaskin, and I have never heard him do a drum solo, I don't believe, so I'm going to be able to do it with you. I've never watched this, so hopefully it's a good performance and we get to, hopefully the, it looks like it's a camera phone, so hopefully it's cool, but anyway, let's give it a go. All right. Drum solo, drum solo, drum solo. We got some theatrics. I feel like I should take my shirt off, no? No, Never. no. Um, hey, the ratings will go up. <laughs> or down. <laughs> no, no, never, never. <laughs> I don't know. How much of the uh, barbecue have you been eating since you moved? <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. Yeah. But I think it's cool so far that, it, that he's got his singer's support. Like, a lot of times the drum solo is just kind of an excuse for people to take a break and be like, I, I'm out. But he's, uh, I'm sure they got something planned, but it's very cool to see the singer's adoration for the drummer. That's so important. Nice. Yeah. Well, they were uh, street buskers in Rome. And so they've been performing together since they were little kids on the street. It's kind of neat. You can actually find a couple videos of them performing as buskers and they look like they're in high school. So kind of cool. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> well, you know what they say there, Joel. What's up? It's not necessarily the size of your rig, but it's how you work it. He's good. You know, he's got a four-piece basic drum set there and got so many different voices going and got kept the crowd into it. I think one of the highlights for me, again, is just seeing his band rally around him. Yeah, that was neat. Uh, it's true. It's a good time to take a break. And they didn't break at all. They were dancing on the stage. <laughs> it's cool. I think that's cool. And that's a testament to the fact that it was a pretty musical drum solo. Yeah. You know, it had a sort of groove to it for most of the time. And, and so people could relate to it. It wasn't just a mess of notes all the time. Yeah, and that like just hit hard, man. What's that? I felt like a Spanish vibe, something like that going on in there. I don't know. It's just my head. Well, with the cowbell, there was definitely like a Latin sort of salsa, Mozambique sort of vibe, even though that's African, but they all come together. They all come from the same thing. But yeah, and he he had the audacity to do a full-blown cowbell solo. I mean, how can you beat that? You can't. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> all right, my friend. Thank you for your time, man. It's appreciated. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Yes. Thank you, Joel. Hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. I now have a Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Discord, and even a Patreon. The Patreon you can join for as little as one buck. The handle on all of them, it's, of course, Joel Rohde. I'll see you guys on the next one.